and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide and today I'm going to go over the insane market crash that has occurred today because of, as you guys can see by the screen, Ultimate Legends. Ultimate Legends are finally in Madden now, as you guys know, Ultimate Legends is one of the most fun periods of month. It's one of the, it's pretty much the extension of the Legend promo, which if you guys already know, the Legend promo, well, I don't know if, I don't want to, I don't want to call it a promo, Legend content. Legend content over here, as you guys can see, it was a weekly set, 55 things are available in here, as you guys know. Doesn't mean it was 55 weeks, but we got one legend. We had about two regular set legends about every single Saturday for about as long as since Madden's been around. And this has been happening for quite a few years now. But typically around now, early February, we get the Ultimate Legend, which is kind of like the, uh, per, I call it like the Legend Prestige. We have Prestige from Legends to Ultimate Legends. These are the end game cards, guys. These are the ones I highly recommend you end up buying because end game cards like these really do go a long way in making sure that you save a lot of coins because I can pick up guys like Troy Palomalu, Calvin, and Walter, and these guys are end game cards. They're gonna be solid on my team for the rest of the year, and I don't plan to move them, so that's kind of like I can then just lock that position up. Kind of what I like about Ultimate Legends. I'm kind of hyped to start buying these guys now. Before we get into the video and go over the market and what they've done to the market because there was eight of them, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. We're super close to 20k, so I'm about 650 away. If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. Comment down below what you guys think of the market crash and have you guys taken advantage of it? Because I sure have. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 300 likes in this video, guys? And also, if you could so kindly when you're done with this video, of course, I did do a Calvin Johnson and Troy Palomalo game plan for all you guys. You guys beg for gameplays, and I do them when you guys don't watch them. So go back and watch that vid. If it gets enough support, I'll make sure to do more. But if it does as bad as they usually do, I might not do gameplays as consistent as you guys want. But that's all you gotta do. Show support, and I'll trust me. If they did well, I'll do a lot more of them. Now, let's head over to the store. Check out the auction block. And I'll show you guys kind of like what we're working with now. Now, let's check out the indicator. We haven't checked it out in a while. I don't know if the indicator even still applies. Let's see the 88 indicator of the market. I don't know. Let's see. 88s are at 23K. Oh, yes. It applies. We just fell through that. They're at 22K, guys. If you guys know the indicator, if it's below 30K, market's down. So let's go over to the 90K spot, the 90 overall. And let's go back to regular cards. Let's see what things are working. But we're going to care more about the higher overall cards. We really don't want to be seeing these. But guys, this is definitely a time to buy, buy, buy. I highly recommend 90 overall cards are 40k, and that's like not filtered out. Let's go over to 92. That's where I'm gonna start this video at right here. So 92, 72k, 72k. That's absurd. That's absolutely absurd. Let's see if we fill this out by team of the week, guys. 66k for a 92 overall. You know how cheap training is right now? Look how much training I have, guys. Only you know I bought like 70,000 training today just because of how cheap it was. It was so worth it for me because I needed it to power up my players, get abilities, camp people, do the gameplay. So it was definitely worth it. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and you pick up some training if you need it. And as far as the market goes, guys, let's get into the banger, guys, right here, 94.95s. So let's start here. First sign of the crash where I noticed that I want to pick up some cards were, well, obviously Series Redux are down, but that's not where I was looking at, NFL 100. Guys, NFL 100 players, are, a lot of these players will be getting Ultimate Legend upgrades, so if you like any of them, pick them up now. I did just pick up Deion Sanders because I had Deion already, but the issue with Deion was that I had my power passing him. So it's a power up to Palomalu, I switched my power pass to Palomalu, and then I bought Deion because Deion's only 250. Guys, if you want to buy a Deion today, which I highly recommend you do, because Deion for 250 is a snag. Randy Moss and Deion are solid. Oh, that's good. All right. Anyways, so Randy Moss and Deion Sanders are solid snags for that price. Just for the pure fact that you guys have to understand that they will be getting Ultimate Legend cards and they will be end game. And when they do, their price will most more than likely skyrocket a little bit. So I, I'd recommend you guys go pick these guys up to now. Low 200Ks, like that's just a snag for Dion. I picked them up for maybe actually like not even 250, like 220. It's just a solid, solid price to pick them up for. And then same thing with Randy. All these guys will be getting cards. And Michael Vick, another guy that you guys probably want to be scooping. Because he will be getting a pretty crazy card in the near future. I think he's going to be the end game quarterback. So I'm kind of waiting for him. Lamar was just too expensive. I can't even consider him in the category of players. But yeah, definitely check on NFL 100 cards. And then beyond that, beyond just those NFL 100 cards, quite a few cards in general went down, such as Team of the Year. So if you guys have been looking to buy some Team of the Year cards, again, another day to pick them up. As you guys can see here, 150K for Team of the Year cards. Gino Atkins is a really solid one you want to be picking up. Zane Gonzalez, guys, got to pick him up pretty soon with a 97 kick power for that price. Solid, solid. Other than that, though, I don't really like many of these other cards here. But let's look at the 96 to 97 team of the years. Guys, there's some great deals here. 201K for these team of the years. 
220 for Calais Campbell. Guys, if you get this Calais Campbell fully powered up, remember you do get his 90, you get a 98, 99 powered up NFL honors, Calais Campbell for super cheap. Luke Keekley, same thing. There's some great value here. Michael Thomas, again, for low 200 Ks, you can easily get a 98 overall card. George Kittle, a great value at tight end. I did pick up Zach Martin today. Zach Martin was 205 earlier. Just nagged him up real quick. Definitely could use that. Aaron Donald, guys, for 310. You know what sucks? I sniped on Aaron Donald yesterday for 200k when he was like 400k, so I thought it was a solid snipe. Now he's a 310, still a solid snipe, but he's definitely coming down. You guys, Aaron Donald's an endgame card for this price. Snipe him out for like 280, 290. Endgame card, set it and forget it. I promise you guys, you won't be taking advantage of this. Jamal Adams as well has went down in value because of Pat Tillman upgrades and um, you Troy Palomaro. But even beyond that, you guys can still get some pretty great value out of this. Now go look at, let's go look at the Ultimate Legends, guys. This is what the, this is what the, this is what the market. This is what happened to the market. 96s are 270k. Now it's not even the biggest deal here. The 97s, I picked up Walter Jones for about 270, 260. Guys, Walter Jones, I recommend you guys pick him up as well. When he, if you get him for like 270, he's an end game left tackle in my opinion. You power up and chem him up. Let's see, can you see his chems on my team? I'm not gonna show you here. Chem up and powered up, he gets close to like above 95, 96 everything. And if you power him up and everything, you can easily get him close to like 99 pass blocking as well as close to like 97, 96 run blocking. You can easily get either end game. For that price, it's crazy. Shannon Sharp's pretty good, but I don't think he's fast enough to justify the upgrade over Tony G or even George Hill. And then another end game guy that you wanna be picking up here. I did hear that Brian Erlocker, an outside linebacker, is a beast. So definitely look into that. But for me, these are my guys. I think you want Troy Palomalu. If, you if you're not on a budget, if you're on a budget, just keep your Pat Tillman. But other than that, Troy Palomalu and Calvin Johnson. You're gonna have to have them. Now, Calvin's way too expensive. So my personal recommendation for Calvin is that you just go ahead and you use your power pass that's what i did power to pass calvin johnson gonna be a monster this is why the, this is why the market crashed i've been using him he's crazy good on my team is like a 98 overall has 98 speed everything close to 98 for the most part and then troy palomalu at strong safety guys his stats are ridiculous i can't he's obviously on my team he's better but just look at this here powered up and coming up comes close to almost 99 everything like that that is how good this card is I highly recommend you pick this up. So far, the end game result of what you guys should be doing right now with this kind of market. You want to pick up Calvin, Troy, but don't pick up Calvin. Use your power pass on him and then pick up uh, Troy for like 390 you can get him for. And then, guys, Ultimate Legends are here. That's it. Like end game cards. This is like seriously when we want to start looking at end game cards. Will the market crash more? Probably not. This was the initial flood of Ultimate Legends. Then, as weeks go on, the market will, like this is it. This is the market usually, right? It's like this, like this, new promo. And then like this, so Ultimate Legends went like that. But then after now, it's just gonna steadily decrease new Ultimate Legend drops, new Ultimate Legend drops. It's not gonna be as bad as the first time, because the first time did drop eight total cards, as well as it was just a shock to the whole community with all these, you know, the first Ultimate Legend shock. After that, it gets kind of better. Then the next big drop will probably be like when Michael Vick drops. Michael Vick's gonna be affordable, an affordable Lamar Jackson, so it'll probably break the game, as well as break the market. And then maybe then Lamar will come down a little bit. And let's check out the 99s, obviously, although those probably weren't affected too much by today's drops, because they're in a class of their own, or 98s, I should say. So let's let this load up. Okay, so Mahomes still 1.1 mil. Lamar's 2.5. And Nitro Lane's 2.8. The last end game card you guys really want is Nitro Lane, in my opinion. Once he comes down in price, not for this price. You gotta wait till he comes back at least to 600k. And once you got him for that, I mean, even if he doesn't, then I guess we're gonna have to, we could just settle for anyone else. But guys, I will be keeping you guys updated weekly with. I think my well, my Saturday schedule typically is Saturday Legends and then a market talk. That's what I like to do after Legends. But now that we have Open Legends, guys, a lot more important than regular Legends. So definitely be expecting this video next Saturday. And I'm pretty much gonna update you guys every Saturday with the end game cards that came out, as well as the market prices. I'm super excited this happens today, guys. You guys always you guys been clowning me all week, all month actually for having a 93 overall. Well, there you guys go. It's 95 now. And it's about to be a 96. My team's looking really solid. I just spent like a 1.5 million coins total today. Maybe more. Plus all that training I have. But it was definitely worth it. I have played online. I'm undefeated in weekend league so far. Not many games have been played to begin with anyways. But you guys just take advantage of the market. I can't I can't trust that enough. But don't just be getting cards because you see them cheap. You can't make that mistake. Like, oh, Grady Jarrett. Oh, Casey Hayward. Get cards that you can use for the rest of the year. Zach Martin, by the way, you definitely want to pick him up. Powered up and chemed up, guys. He has close to all 99 stats. I'm telling you, like, he's he's amazing. He's really good at right guard. And you know, and it's set it and forget it. For 230k, you don't have to wait for the ultimate legend one. And you can do that's gonna be 400k. You can just get him right now for 230. Call it a year at right guard. That's what I'm doing. That's pretty much the best method I can give you guys right now as far as how to take advantage of this market right now. But guys, that is about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're gonna blow. Hit that subscribe button, turn that on, boys. Come join the family. Guys, comment down below. 
what you guys are picking up right now in the market. I told you guys what I'm picking up. Everyone I named, I'm pretty much going to pick up. And then make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get this video to 350 likes? As well as make sure to go over to the gameplay when you're done with this. Give that video a big thumbs up and show some support in that video, guys. Hopefully, we can still we can resurrect from yesterday. Because yesterday, we had no electricity and that was a horrible day. But things are looking up right about now. But thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.